as the years go by. I realize that I don't want to stay the same. I want to reinvent. You don't have to tell me what to do. been chatty throughout this entire video but I wanted to quickly just jump on and say hi it's Friday and also I'm going to a screening of Pride and Prejudice right now I'm actually running late I'm supposed to meet my friends downstairs in like two minutes so I kind of have to run but I am so excited I've never seen Pride and Prejudice on big screen and I'm I might just cry so come along and yeah also look at my grad photo makeup it's kind of looking beat now because I did this in like at 11 in the morning but still kind of cute. Still kind of cute. Okay. All right. You approach on the subject of friendship will cross my lips once we're married. You are too hasty, sir. You forget that I have given no answer. I must add that Lady Catherine will finally approve when I speak to her of your modesty, economy, and other amiable qualities. Sir, I am honored by your proposal, but I regret that I must decline it. I know. Ladies don't seek to seem too easy. Mr. Collins, I am perfectly serious. You could not make me happy, and I'm convinced I'm the last woman in the world who could make you happy. I flatter myself, cousin, that your refusal is merely a natural delicacy. <laughs> Besides, you should take into account that despite your manifold attractions, it's by no means certain that another offer of marriage may ever be made to you. Mr. Collins! So I must conclude that you simply seek to increase my love by suspense. Sir. According to the usual practice of elegant females. Sir, I am not the sort of female to torment a respectable man. Please understand me, I cannot accept you. <laughs> when uh, you fall in love, it's a much more serious involvement. You just cannot forget this person. You feel miserable when not in their presence. You're always yearning. Let's get, uh, see more of each other. Let's get together. Let's, uh, we're completely entangled. Then you see, you've actually a, a kind of a, what I will call spiritual element has been introduced. I just got home. Oh my gosh, my nose is so red. I always forget that when I'm cold, like it's you can you can really tell. But anyways, I just got back from the library it's after five. I am. I just have to say, I'm proud of myself. Okay, because I really just did a nine to five, y'all. I really. I really just nine to five this semester I haven't been spending as much time at the library as I did last semester well obviously we're at the beginning of the semester so it makes sense last semester I was on something I don't know we were moving different we were doing like nine like eight to eight or like nine to eight or whatever just moving different literally just to stay in the library <laughs> nine to five I was like y'all I got up once and I was really just working but I feel really good because i got a lot of stuff done like 
I, what did I even do today? <laughs> I had a reflection piece I needed to write and submit. I needed to create like notes from the presentation that I did last week with my group. Um, Cause those are gonna get posted for the, for the class. And then I needed to finish the reading for a presentation I have on Tuesday. And I started like doing the outline for the actual presentation. So I know what it'll look like thinking about that a little bit more, but I'm going to take a quick break. Um, I look like the most bundled up <laughs> person right now, but yeah. So after I think I'm going to do a bit of history, like black Canadian history, I haven't really done any this weekend, which is not good because I need to submit my discussion questions tomorrow. So yeah, tonight we continue, we move forward, but first a break, a reprieve, because I'm actually about to like pass out just from the mental exhaustion. <sighs> Welcome home. How is your day? Very stressful. 